Hi, I'm Mike Hayden from IntelliWolf and today I am going to update the PHP version in XAMPP. So uh, I use XAMPP for pretty much all my uh, local developments. So that's going to stop this real quick. And as you can see, I've got PHP version 7.2.10. Now, ordinarily, I wouldn't bother uh, updating, but I was shooting this video, so I figured, why not? So the what you want to do, you want to come over to let me pull it this up. We need that bigger. So we're we're going to windows.php.net/download, and that's going to bring us to this page here. Now I'm not going to upgrade to 7.3. I'm just going to do 7.2.15. So when we've got the PHP info. Uh, it says x86, which kind of surprised me. It must be the version of XAMPP that I have downloaded. So I'm going to need an x86 uh, version of PHP. So we go over to this windows.php.net slash download, uh, and we are going to get the this one here, the x zoom in, the x86 thread safe version. So I'll download that zip. So here it is in my XAMPP folder. Now, if you open up the archive, you'll see that it's not inside the PHP folder. So what I'm going to do real quick, just to make sure that there's that I can always roll back, I'm going to change this PHP folder to let's call it uh, seven to ten, and we'll extract this. Just do it to there, and change this just to PHP, delete all that. Now we go into our XAMPP control panel, go config, and we want the Apache httpd xamp.conf. So we'll open that one, and that brings up a file like this. Now, because we're not changing from a major version, you know, say for example, we had 5.6 and we're upgrading to uh, 7.2, for example, uh, we would need to look for all the example, the instances of PHP 5, it would be, and change that to 7. But because we are going just within the 7 versions, uh, we don't need to update anything or change anything. But I'm including this just for sake of completeness. So we go back to our control panel and start Apache. Hopefully everything works, all good. Uh, let's go to PHP info and refresh that. Let's make sure that everything's good and it changed to 7.2.15. Now let's go to one of the uh, example sites that I use and of course it does that. Okay, so there was one more thing that I needed to fix in uh, the PHP folder. Uh, I'm using the development one, at least I was on the previous one, so I'm going to use the development one on this one. just have to remove that so that you actually get a php.ini file. And let's open that real quick. Uh, I made a few changes. It was, let me find them, came down the bottom here because I'm using MariaDB and I just enabled a couple of these uh, extensions that I had on the previous one. So you can easily do a, uh, a compare and find out which ones you had on the previous one. So let's go back to where we were and refresh, oh, of course, <laughs> restart that. And there we go. It's all working properly. So that's how you update PHP for XAMPP.